Every year we lose about 20, 30 species that are gone forever. And using this technology, I think that we can preserve and save those species that have been lost. Scientists at the University of Georgia are attempting to use DNA from endangered cats to save them from extinction. What we're trying to do here is collect skin cells from endangered species and actually turn them into sperm or eggs. The goal is to develop a tiger embryo and artificially inseminate a house cat, which will then give birth to a baby tiger. Because of the extensive knowledge of domestic cats' reproductive systems, the risk of failure is significantly lower than if using a tiger as a surrogate. We know that we're going to have a lot of hurdles, and so what we want to do is start off with an animal we know very well. And so we thought cats was a good starting point. The three-part process of creating an artificial embryo begins with collecting skin cell samples from endangered species. We got these samples from Zoo Atlanta. They collected the biopsies from their Sumatran tiger and their clouded leopard. Those skin cells are then turned into stem cells, which will later be reprogrammed into sperm and eggs, allowing for the creation of an embryo. Once we have these sperm and eggs, we'll combine them together, we'll get a developing embryo, and then the idea is we're going to transfer them into a domestic cat. And hopefully in a few months, we'll have a number of kittens from that individual. One of the greatest challenges that the team has faced has been developing the technique to transform skin cells into stem cells, a necessary task that they have yet to accomplish. We are still waiting to make that leap from skin cell to stem cell. And I think we're finally on the doorstep. We're, we're ready to go. By collecting and freezing skin cell samples from various animals, scientists are effectively providing a road to bring back species that may become extinct in the future. In a single tank, you could have a biobank of two, three hundred different species and enough individuals in each box where you could use this technology to repopulate lost species. I'll never give up essentially, you know, as long as I can keep doing great science and exciting things. I just really think endangered species are important to conserve and they're worth the effort.